Hi everyone, I am Rodrigo Santa Cruz and today I will present our work Deep CSR, a 3D deep learning approach for cortical surface reconstruction. Cortical surface reconstruction is a well-known task in medical image and it plays a central role in the study of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer and Parkinson. The goal is basically to estimate triangular meshes for the inner and outer cortical surfaces defined in the brain cortex from MRI images. The inner surface, here in red, separates the white matter tissues from the gray matter tissue, while the outer surface, here in blue, separates the CSF from the gray matter. Note that these surfaces are highly folded, and subvoxel precision is required to well reconstruct them. Traditionally, this problem is tackled by length pipelines of image process techniques like the widely used free surfer and its recent fast and deep learning powered version fast surfer. These approaches first voxel wide segment the input MRI and then fit surfaces within the voxels in the boundaries of the tissues. While simple, this approach is limited by the resolution of the input MRI, in which it's hard to capture the high frequency details of narrow continuous objects like cortical surfaces. To overcome this problem, we propose Deep CSR, a 3D deep learning model that learns to predict implicit surface representations for cortical surfaces directly from the MRI. Have a look at how it works. For a data set of pairs of MRI and target surface represented as a, as a triangular mesh and computed offline with traditional methods, we first compute an implicit representation of these surfaces by densing sampling points around it and computing a occupancy field or, or the sign and distance function of these points in relation to the target surface. Given a sampled point, the form assigns a binary value indicate whether this point is inside or outside of the target surface, while the layer goes further and assigns the sign and distance from the given point to the surface. Then we train a neural network to map from an image and a point in real coordinates to its simplest surface representation. Once learned, we use this network to predict implicit surface representation from new MRIs. More specifically, given new MRI, we sample equidistant points in the brain template and pass their coordinates to the network to obtain the implicit representation of the target surface. Note that we can reach a very high resolution by just predicting implicit representation for more and more sampled points. Finally, with the predicted implicit surface representation at the desired resolution, we can run a topology correction algorithm and a ISO surface structure method to reconstruct the target surface at a triangular mesh. An important detail in the architecture of our networks is how to extract features from the input image to predict the implicit surface representation for a given point. For MRI represented as a grid of voxels and a point represented by its real coordinates, we first compute feature maps by applying 3D convolutions to the input MRI. Then, we map the input point to the image and its respective feature maps, where feature values are interpolated and concatenated to form a feature vector aggregating local and global information to predict an implicit surface representation for the given point. Finally, this vector here named hypercolon and the point coordinates are passed to a decoder which outputs the implicit surface representation for this point according to the input image. In our experiments, we compare our approach to free surfer and fast surfer frameworks. We first evaluate the reproducibility of these methods in a test-retest experiment. Then we measure the accuracy by comparing the mesh-based segmentation for the brain cortex with the manually segmented data in the multi atlas labeled challenge dataset. Finally, we also compare the reconstruction time. Our results show that deep CSR is more precise, accurate, and faster than the widely used free surfer and its deep learning version fat suffer. Thank you for your attention and feel free to contact me for more information.